Belkins out there as well. They're very easy to carjack, just like the Holdens. Peter File kicks out on that trusty left foot. He looks for the smallest well, people you won't on the beat field. Tuckwell. You will not beat Tuckwell in a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm sorry. No, and Casey goes. He follows up again. It looked like a throw there, but he managed to get away with Clint Torres. Kicks long down the wind. The Rock, big Luke Hurley. Straight to the one that gave him a tickle. Maybe he's repaying the favour. Kicks it in. It's taken at centre-half forward there by Bo Finlay. Finlay, just assessing his options. He kicks long. It's a high up and under. That was under. a bullet pass. That was an absolute bullet. Kendall trying to make it work. He goes out. That pass from Bo Finlay did not go above a metre high, and I it's probably travelled 45 he metres. He still kicked it while he was walking backwards. Only one man could do that, and that's he, number one, Bo Finlay. He's a powerful man. So we've got a throw in just near the behind post for Ellenbrook. An even match so far. It's still a one-point lead at the moment to Balladura. It's thrown in. Who can rove it? There'll be plenty of numbers around. Kendall, Kendall with the right foot strength. snap. Looking Casey's for another four. Oh, Casey, strong hands he used from the Casey. forearm really well. Oh. I tell you, this fellow, Adam, he has great hands. And I'm not just talking about marking. I shook his hand earlier in the change rooms. They're very supple, yet masculine. He's nimble as well on his feet, is Casey. He takes a mark, and if we know anything about this man, this should be straight through the middle. Doesn't mind a celebration. Comes through, stabs at it a little bit, but it Umpire looks good enough off the boot. Does not move. And there he goes. He goes running into the square, the big... High 10, now just a casual tap. Now he's saying, come to me, come to me, boys. Come, <laughs> come, and, uh, come and feel my hands. Feel my hand, there it is, yep. So You're you not wrong. You feel my not hand. wrong about that. So Ellenbrook hit the front here in the first quarter. Two straight 12 to 117. Forward nice pass. throw there by was, the umpires. It was yeah. a forward pass, though. It was. I believe in the, uh, in the AFL book of umpiring, uh, the one throwing the ball should get forward of the uh, receiver and pass backwards. Just well, I'd like expect Jeff Neesham to be out there just at quarter time and maybe just giving the umpires a well, few I, words. I but hope so. They have been good so far, and as you mentioned, it's been thrown up straight Another early. Good bounce. Hurley doesn't get the tap away. A bit of a hold played there, but it's it. called play on. You did call that it was played for as power. He's never held anybody illegally. There's no doubt about that. Goes into the forward line now for Balladura. A bouncing ball. Callum White, the old head, able to get the left foot out there. It's a good clearance kick, even though it favours Irek Uranus. He's still a bit of pressure there to oh, Irek Uranus Finlay by with Finlay. strength again. Lays out Uranus, and we'll have a uh, boundary throw in just on the wing. He really opened up Uranus then and uh, just went straight through him. Big Luke Hurley in the ruck again. Oh, well, that was too easy. Ferrillo, <laughs> the Italian man. Just powered his way through and a bit of a turnover here, but uh, I don't think anything will come of this, Adam. Dick Fitzwell's the target. He takes a mark. He spins around oh. on the left. Dick Fitzwell. It's a bit of a mongrel kick. Will it favour Balladura? Stacey Wrecked manages to get a forward kick and will he ever stop? Takes well, the mark now. Lucky. About Very 25 lucky. metres out. Will he ever stop? I mean, they're, you know, they're really scrounging their goals, Adam. Uh, the Yellenbrook goals look... Uh, they, they look like they're planned and well laid out. And Balladur are just scrapping. He's a, still a... Do oh, terrible stop! <laughs> I can't believe that's gone through. Did you see that technique? Can, I don't know. If I wish he would stop. Will he ever stop? Because that was not pretty. <laughs> it was not pretty at all. And, uh, you know, I, I would... If I was the coach, I don't care if he kicked that goal, I would drag him. And I would say, listen, mate... Just learn a proper kicking technique, and I might put you back out there. Look at that. Bill Waglin just running through the middle. He'd want to get to the other side before it's thrown up. He'll he make good, it. doesn't he? He looks real good. You know uh, that he, he wants caught a shark bare hands? I was just going to say, Adam, he looks like in the same sort of form as when he caught a, I believe it was Great White. It was. He so even, uh, even took down the wetsuit before he did it, just to make sure the chest was the out. The chest was out, yeah. 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 A few hairs on there. Only three, but they look good. Well, the ball taking a long time to come well, back. Well, now they have to throw backwards because of the pressure that you put on. It's been reported to Jeff Neesham, who's just quickly gotten the earpiece. Well, good. So now we'll wait for the umpire to run past. If Gives it, a chance for the, uh, the players to, to catch their breath. Umpires are being paid for their job, Adam. If they're going to do it, they've got to do it correctly. Like this guy. Look at this bounce. Straight up over the... Oh, and Innes just punches it over the back Did of his well. head. well. Is there anything that boy can't do in the ruck? Bill Waglin was looking for a bit of contact there. Jimmy running Antonio. through Jimmy. He did well, didn't he? Now the forward kick inside Aaron 50. Power There's just long plenty and of targets. Hands again. Jimmy Kendall, well, this fella, there's a lot I could say about him. He is big. He is powerful. He has a great set of hands. He has a great set of thighs. His calves are pretty good. His I wish he'd pull the socks down. 
pleasant to look at. Well, no, I, I believe uh, socks pulled up are a mark of a good forward. Now, watch this. This will go straight through the middle. I've got no doubt at all. He comes in, and without any doubt, he does slot it. So a good start here for Kendall. You mentioned that you thought socks up were a good mark of a footballer. What's your thought on uh, long sleeves? Long sleeves, I believe, uh, are for show ponies and uh, people who just are looking for votes from the umpires, Adam. Uh, so a way to stand out, maybe? Definitely. Good to see that no one's wearing the sleeves out here today. I do once remember a player wearing sleeves. Pretty sure he got a yellow card in a grand final once. It always seemed to be those moments that he, he really stood up in a grand final and got sent off. Had seven touches for the day. Had to retire after. It's thrown up now in the middle. Ends again. Goes against Harry Bush. Gets his own Ends. ball. Oh, Ruck Rover as well. Don't mind if you do. T. Bagner, oh, I think he was a little bit worried about what was coming behind him. Alf Stewart gives the hands now to Mike Hunt. Good to see him playing for his third club in three years. As he clears it out, it'll be a throw in. Right half forward for Ellenbrook. Mike Hunt, he's the journey man, isn't he? Well, he is. I don't know if he's following Alan Brook around or if he's following us around as commentators, Adam. But wherever we seem to commentate, Mike Hunt is there. I think it was the first year that Restricted Agency came into uh, amateur football and uh, he was gobbled up straight away by, by Balladura. They were pretty keen uh, to have Mike Hunt. So, uh, so Mike Hunt was gobbled up? <laughs> he was. He was indeed. He's a good player, Mike Hunt, no doubt about that. Out on the full, though, 3 one a 2 one and I hope the uh, scoreboard, scoreboard boys have got that up to date in my uh, book. That is right. Oh, oh, did you, did you see there. what... Ar oh, well, umpire, umpire, can you please explain to... Oh! What? He's pinned him. What? He's pinned him. What did I just see? Don't mess with power. He'll just give him a little cheeky word there as well. Well, I don't know if I can believe what I just saw, Adam. That was a mark, and uh, he was paid holding the ball. That's... Rather bizarre. He's been a leader of this side throughout the year, hasn't he, as power? Well, he has. He, uh, he has really, I won't say stood up, because he's always been a good player. And tall. And tall. But uh, this year, he certainly has taken on a bit of a leadership role with some of the, uh, the younger fellas like uh, Callum White. He adds a bit of aggression in there as, as power. He's a nice uh, ruck rover to have. He's going to have to ruck here, though, because it was a bad throw-in. He did well. Comes down to Bill Wagland. He gives another handball. I don't believe my eyes. That's, that's two in a game. And, and that's Matt Jarvie. What a perfect kick to Rutherford there. Nice kick it was indeed. Now, Callum White, White just gets he's out always quick to run from the back line when he sees look a chance to go forward. It's oh, a lovely spin. That. He it's calls a for it back, gives the shepherd. Goes forward as oh. well. Oh, he was almost taken without. Went the one-hander. Casey gives the handball. There's a few guys giving handballs you don't normally see at the moment. It comes out now to Peter File. He kicks long down the wing. There's a bit of a, a free kick. No, not being called. It's taken on by Recky Reynas. He looks for Anita Dump. Anita Dump just running forward now. Looks to be in a bit of pain as he kicks forward into the 50. Oh, and, and look, Ennis gets back. back. Look at that. I'll just take this with one hand, boys. You guys keep fighting it out. Wouldn't mind him wearing the uh, the sweatband that his brother used to wear. It looks as though his hair's getting a bit long out there. Well, if there's one thing that this uh, Ellenbrook team is missing, Adam, it's a player with a headband. Reese Innes wore it to perfection and played that role of the player with the headband to perfection. And I think he's been the best in that role at the club. Dave Murphy there yelling instructions from the boundary. He wants to get on at the moment, trying to take someone off, but nobody seems too keen to come off. It looks as though it might just go out... As power now, he gives a nice push and a shove, and he'll be the man to uh, have a breather here. A well-deserved rest as well as Josh Tuckwell comes back on. A nice little replacement. Well, that is a real luxury if you can bring Tuckwell, someone of his ability, off the bench and back onto the game at any point. So wins against Sawyer Snatch. Sawyer Snatch uh, managed to win that one. It goes out as Harry Bush uh, came running across. He's been doing a bit of the ruck work, but getting to rest up forward on Callum White. And this game has just, uh, both teams have settled now a bit, Adam, and uh, they're, they're just figure outing, figuring each other out. And uh, there's a bit of, oh, sorry, I uh, got a bit carried away with the game there, but because Aaron Innes, if we can just get him on screen. Yes, I thought so. I thought he was injured for a second, and that would have been a massive blow to the Eels, but he's up because he's tough. White ran back into Harry Bush. There's a few times that they're going to meet head-to-head -to -head today. It comes down now, though, to useless prick. Josh Tuckwell picks it up. He gets a kick away. I think that's the first time he's used his right today. Uh, Does like using the left. Number six for Balladura there. Who's that? That's Clint Torres. He just ran away from the ball. I don't know that I've ever seen that on the football field 
uh, since the last time we commentated, uh, Adam, and that was just bizarre. He ran away from the ball. You mentioned GTA 5 too, David. You can see the boot of that car has been left open overnight. So, uh, you know, condolences Quick access there, for the but, weapons. Uh, I believe Crime Stoppers is using th this tape at the moment just to uh, force some leads. Craven Moorhead, he's fumbling around at the moment. He needs to get his head back in the game. He gives the hands to Anita Dump, Burgess. Around there as well. Tucker, oh, he dives in on it. He that. gets the hands away. Follows it up again. Gets his own the ball. Bump, gives it to Burgess, who is tackled immediately. There's a bit of pressure around the ball again. Clint Torres snaps it. Clint Torres misses. Got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, Adam, because there are about three free kicks that should have been given to Alan Brook there. And once again, just weren't paid. I know it's a grand final and they're harder to earn, but they were quite blatant. So Luke Hurley with the kick out. He can roost a long ball. He goes to do that now, and we kick it well and truly outside the 50. Have a look at that. That's a luxury. Josh Tuckwell That's speaking of luxury. 95 metres. That just bounced into his hand, and he turns it over. Should he use the left, Josh Tuckwell? Casey, though, he's going to manage to uh, get the pick up. No, that's Antonio. That's, not, that's Antonio. I'm selling him short all day today. Comes again now through the middle. They're looking to set up Ellenbrook. They've got some tool forwards. Antonio, I'll turn him around and snap this. Isn't I that mean, Kendall? Sorry, Kendall. Come on, mate. Let's get these jimmies there right. There are 30 jimmies. <laughs> it's a bit tough to keep up. Kendall couldn't quite get that, but Ellenbrook would be happy. That's quick transition That's from right. the full back line, David. It was very quick football, and uh, Kendall's little buddy in Shea Bessel just walking back there. And talking of sharks, he had a massive encounter with a huge great white just recently. Can you elaborate on that? No. Okay, well, it's thrown back in. Kendall wins that one. Bessel giving chase, as is Lorenzo. Lorenzo put the hands up. Goes down. A nice Good mark boys. by Rutherford. He did talk Look his at the way centering ball. Is that Pryor in the middle? I believe it is. Oh, What's going on here? It looks as though it's quarter time. I think the siren has gone here. So it's quarter time here. 30 seconds early, Adam, by my yeah, watch. Yeah, you are right. Uh, the timer there, I think it might be Balladura timekeepers today. I don't want to get into well, anything too controversial, but I do believe they are timekeeping. And we've still got 30 seconds. But it is Ellenbrook, 3-1-19. Balladura, 2-2-14. That's the first quarter of the C3 Reserve Grand Final. We're going to take a quick break. Be back with more of the action after this. see how the game pans out but uh, look it, they started to get the ball on the outside the straw bridges and and the hicks and the yaps started to get the ball on the outside and certainly moved the ball a lot quicker and we looked good going into the forward 50 we just need to be a little bit more composed a couple of times we went into the forward 50 and we we weren't under pressure and we turned the ball over so um yeah hopefully we can continue this pressure and uh, put the scoreboard pressure on in the second quarter well they've thrown it up and it's down already there's power with a nice fist forward. Coming in now is Sawyer Snatch. It's taken, though, by Dave Murphy, who uses the left foot and kicks forward. The camera's trying to catch up with it. Must have been a big kick. Very highly skilled player, Dave Murphy. Does go well. Don't know what happened there because the camera didn't catch up with it, but Joe Mama I think he's a Bellagura cameraman. On the half-back line. A nice kick there by Joe Mama. He finds Mike Hunt, the journeyman. He looks inboard. Mike Hunt kicks it quite high. Oh, Stacey Rex Nearly put his teammate in forward. hospital. He'd be uh, struggling to stay erect now. Uh, a good mark, though. You'd be a bit nervous after that. There's uh, Inns coming over the top again. A nice fist forward, but it comes down to Irek Uranus. He's looking for Clint Torres. Here's the big fella. Big, useless prick. Here he is. He came over the back of Clint Torres. Well, I actually thought... Uh I actually thought he pushed... Is that Innes that was on him there? I, I thought he pushed him square in the back and should have been a free kick against him. But this is exactly what I was saying earlier, Adam. He is related to the umpires. Uh, and he'll probably put this through because he's not very far out. So useless prick manages to put Balladura back in front. He acknowledges the kick coming in. He won't run back to the square. We don't have to worry about that. Well, let's, let's just take this moment and compare number 32s here. On one side, you've got... The number 32 of Allenbrook, Callum White, who is the epitome of fitness, um, no hair, and shorts that fit him. Number 32 for Bellagura, who we just saw there, was uh, Harry Undersack. Large.